SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll. I'm doing this lean right here. I've been told that. that I have to, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told that I have to because okay. we're, we're dealing with the sun. Okay, all right. There's nothing wrong with a little lean. Something. So. <laughs> uh, I feel like, I know, I feel like we should lean in together. I mean, I'm fine with that. Okay. I, I'm sure they're... It's I'm, become a very intimate conversation. I'm probably giving them <laughs> total fits of uh, filming this right now. Uh -huh. uh, how long did it take you to walk this 50 feet? Uh, just a week. <laughs> just a week. It's, it's fine. I brought snacks. <laughs> I didn't. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been standing here for so long. I'm hungry. And you're, I'm so sorry. And you're teasing me with, with so sorry. snacks. <laughs> So tell me about your experience in the 50 feet in the two hours or one week or however long it's taking. Tell me everything about Emmys 2019. Oh, you know what? It's um, this particular show, Giants, is such a joy to be a part of. So from you know the invitation to participate to the filming to the now recognition, it has all just been beautiful. And what a great group of people to have to work with, you know? Uh, they've been great to talk to. We've gotten to talk to a whole bunch of folks. I, I was telling them earlier that the thing that we've been asked the most uh -huh. uh, so far is the folks know the soaps. Right. They know the people in the soaps. Mm -hmm. They know some of the other series because they have people who they know from the soaps. I've gotten so many questions. What is Giants? They've got a lot of animations. Like, what's going on here? So I'm going to ask you for okay. your interpretation to describe to folks who may who not have seen, seen it. The show? What is it? Okay, so there are coming of age stories. Um, but usually that's like adolescence, you know, but we're talking about coming of adulthood. You know, three friends who are really trying to find themselves, you know, the millennial, the millennial issue, you know, just trying to find their place in the world and trying to find their footing. And um, all of that before the age of 30. And how sometimes they're winning and so, so, most times they're failing miserably. But it's the effort and it's what they're going through. I mean, it's not the show, but I got to say, past millennials, sometimes we're <laughs> learning and failing on a regular basis. I mean, too. yes, yeah, but, but, that's, but this show, that's definitely what it's about. It, it's funny because uh, everyone who's a part of it, who I've talked to, they light up. And I'm not used to that from, from this side. And usually there's, there's a line, mm -hmm. you know, they're sort of maybe fed what to say. And literally everyone comes alive when they're talking about this. What do you attribute that to? I think it's the family atmosphere. You know, it's 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 about more than just a script and delivering the lines and delivering the edit and delivering the cut. We really like each other. We like each other and we think that subjects that we tackle on the show are important. So when you get to really have a cause and see it through with people that you enjoy spending time with. It just makes sense, you know? And something else that we were talking to, it, it, it's not just with Giants, it's with, with several of the other nominees tonight. In 2019, we're still talking about people who don't feel as though they're seeing representation, not just of maybe sort of like them, mm -hmm. but anything that they can even sort of wrap their head around going, yes, you right. know, that's me. And it seems like Giants is really speaking a lot to that now. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know that it was a, a mission, but it has really absolutely become something that we're proud of. Yeah. Does it change once you know that that's the case? Does it change, do you think, the approach? Does it change what you bring to it? I think you just realize the impact that you're having. I mean, when you go on, on YouTube and you read the comments and you see people who, like for instance, my, uh, my character is a life coach. People who thought I was a real life coach or people who said, oh man, I wish she could help me out. I mean, I was, I, okay, you know that was a script, but I'm glad that you're getting, I mean, really, I'm glad that they're getting that type of thing from it and they're feeling like, oh, okay, she's talking about something that I can't even talk about with somebody else, but I'm getting something from this moment, so completely off thing. I went to school for medicine and I still have people who call me asking for medical advice of, of You're like, I uh, this thing. What is that, right? Uh, before I let you go, because yes. I'm getting the wrap up, okh okay. uh, Pretty Arts typically uh, honor folks behind the scenes that we don't get to see. Do you have any hidden or secret talents that you would like to share with us or tell us about? Ooh, hidden or secret talents. I'm not sure that karaoke is hidden. But listen. Sometimes it should be for certain Listen, <laughs> you give me, you know, a mic and a PA system and there might be a party. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming by. Oh, I really thanks appreciate for talking it. To you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely appreciate Thank it. You. Soapcentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll.